The type tool is another tool that is used from time to time and it acts uh, a bit differently than some of the other tools. So always access the tool properties after you've picked a new tool. And here you'll find all the options. So for the text tool, this is used specifically for typing something in your drawing that you're actually going to be in your drawing. It has nothing to do with typing in text for your panel descriptions or your dialogue. This is merely for, you know, if you wanted a sign or a, a title on a book or something like that. So let me demonstrate. You can choose under Tool Properties which font you want to use. And let's go back up to good old Arial. You can choose just like other text word processing programs, whether it's a line to the left, a line to the center, a line to the right, or justified, which means everything's all even. You can adjust the size and the indentation and the kerning, but for the most part, you're just going to be using, you know, your standard tools. There's also, uh, you can do bold or italics, and let's just come over here and go into the drawing area and set our cursor down. So we'll get a blinking cursor. We can type in whatever we want. So I'll type in the word typing. And now if you want to modify this, you can go in and select the type that's there. And as with the other tools, you can go to the color section and choose a new color for it. So I'm going to turn that green. And when I tap back on the surface, you can see that it has turned green. After you finish typing, you can start to interact with the word that you've typed by going back to the selection tool. And when you select a word that you've typed, you're not able to manipulate the individual letters. It still sees it as a word, and it has selected the entire word. But now that you have selected it, back in the Tool Properties section, because we're working with text selection, you can still interact with it. Watch as I make it bold, as I make it italic. You can move the alignment, um, although it doesn't really show because it's not aligned to anything right now. You can change the size of the font, making it bigger, making it smaller. And with this box, you can also type in a number. If I want to type in, for example, 96, I just type in 96 and press Enter. And that's our new size. Like anything else, you can rotate this. You can also, you know, squish it and you can scale it by holding the shift key down. You'll get it to scale in perfect proportion. And oh, you saw just right there, I, I actually flopped it by dragging further. I mean, I basically dragged it to the other side and flipped it upside down. So that's another way of distorting a drawing that you can do from uh, side by side. You can, if you continue dragging past the border of the drawing, it'll actually go ahead and flip it. If you do want to break apart the text that you have all there, normally it just travels together. But if you do want to break it apart, just go ahead and select the text, right click on it, and then look for the word that says convert. Once you find Convert, you can choose this option, Break Apart Text Layers. And once you've done that, now your letters can be treated individually if you wanted to move them around for some sort of effect or to resize them or even to recolor them individually.